Welcome back to Hurricane Game Day here on CSS. I'm your host, Joe Zagacki. A big week for the University of Miami. Basketball season getting underway. The University of Miami women's soccer team in the NCAA tournament. And of course, the football team on the road in Tallahassee to take on the Florida State Seminoles. E.J. Manuel is back at quarterback for Florida State. They've won four in a row, and he has a bevy of talented wide receivers. So it's going to be a big challenge for Hurricanes defensive back Mike Williams, who is standing by with Don Bailey Jr. Renner, three-step drop, looks right, throws right for Highsmith. He's hit at the 40-yard line by Williams and no gain on the play. Mike Williams out of Melbourne with 15 tackles and one interception. We're joined with defensive back, cornerback Mike Williams. And Mike, welcome to the University of Miami. My first question is, what brought you to the University of Miami? Um, actually, just a tradition, you know, just uh, Coach Golden and his staff, you know, this, uh, they recruited me and they, you know, kind of talked to me out of wake. And um, I, I really, you know, when I came on my visit, I just really enjoyed it. I felt like, you know, he was a man of his word. I love the tradition here. I love, you know, how they put players into the NFL. You know, it's just, you know, the University of Miami stands, you know, for itself, you know. I'm really proud to be here. Mark D'Onofrio, defensive coordinator for the University of Miami, has got a, uh, is a very powerful coach. I mean, he wants his defenses executed similar to how an offense wants it executed. What's it like playing for him? Um, it's 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 big. It's big. You know, he's, it's 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 an NFL style defense. You know, he prepared he prepared you for the next level. You know, and it's really you know you really have to focus on doing your job in his his, in his system. You know, it's really about your gap or your guy or your man. You know, it's really. You really have to be honed in every play, and you really can't take any plays off because you know it's it's more of a gap-oriented defense, you know, which is a good thing if everybody does their job. So, but it's really a joy playing for him and the passion and you know just the love for the game he has. I had talked to Coach Dinofrio earlier this week, and, and he had mentioned that he's disappointed in the explosive plays, but he's pleased in the fact that Miami's third in the ACC with points allowed. And in, the bottom line is, is on a defense, you don't want to give up any points. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, just really, you can't, you know, you have to make them earn everything they get. You can't give them anything free. And I think that's the biggest, you know, mad point he has with us, you know, with, with the explosive plays, you know to still rank third after giving up so many explosive plays. You know, it shows when we do execute how good we can be, so. Let's go back to that defense as well. For uh, the defensive line certainly can make it easier on the secondary if they're getting quarterback pressure. And how do you encourage your, your defensive front seven? How do you do that when you're out on the field to get those guys to pressure the quarterback? Uh, just, any, just any time. I know me personally, any time they do get pressure, any time they do make a you know, good tack on the backfield, I'm, I'm probably the first one there. You probably see me every day, every time. I'm the, probably the first one there ha tapping them on the helmet. You know, because it really does help, you know, when they're, when they're getting pressure and we're covering well, you know, and just like reverse, when we're covering well, they're getting pressure. So, you know, it's really, you know, it, go, it plays both well. So we just we just really have to focus in on working as a unit. You know, when they're getting pressure, we have to be covering well. So, Thank you very much, Don Bailey Jr. A couple of great stories on the show today. Mike Williams from Melbourne gets to the Hurricanes from Wake Forest. And, of course, the terrific turnaround season that Tommy Streeter is having for the University of Miami. The Canes on the road this week against the Florida State Seminoles. Next week, we'll preview Miami and South Florida. Thanks so much for joining us here on Hurricane Game Day, and we'll see you next week right here on CSS. Underneath caught by James, and he will drive into the end zone for a touchdown. According to the 45, to the field, angles right side, first down, he used the stiff arm, and he got down to the Cavaliers, 40-yard line. Go Kane!